Do you have a question for him? Raise your hand and I'll call on you. Spencer Nussbaum, go ahead. Uh, hey, hey, Coach, can you just start us off with your overall thoughts on the game? I'm sorry, with my what of the game? Overall thoughts on the game. Oh, overall thoughts. Um, you know, we, we missed a lot of shots. That's the first overall thought. I mean, we shot 38% from the field and 27% from three. Um, so we, we needed to put the ball in the hole, quite frankly. We took more shots to them. We out-rebounded them. Uh, we just, you know, they allowed us to, I mean, they forced us to play ISO ball a little bit. And the ball didn't move as, as, as much as it normally does. We got kind of caught in the ISO ball with their icing. And it, it really made us play more one-on-one -on -one than, than we should have. Spencer, go ahead. Yeah, just kind of on that note, I mean, did, did you feel like the team was sped up at all tonight by LA? Uh, I, I mean, I do think we took some rush shots. I don't know if they sped us up other than, I mean, we just, um, we missed a lot of open shots. I mean, we're five for 18 from three. Uh, we missed some layups. Um, you know, there was a, it was a really physical game. They allowed us to play probably more than I'd like, but uh, you know, it's a tale of two halves. You know, the first half, you know, we were finishing those plays, whether whether we got fouled or not. In the second half, you know, we we were missing them. And then, you know, everybody's watching. Nobody's going to going to get to the offensive glass and putting them back in. And so we just kind of allowed their play to really bother us and make us stagnant on offense. Got you. And I know, I mean, Tiana and Strick both played limited minutes tonight. Um, and I know they've been dealing with some, you know, injury issues. But are are those issues that you think might extend into the off season, um, or are those things that can be addressed kind of in the short term? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know about the off season yet until we get you know permanent positions in place in terms of, you know, head coach and you know GM and things like that. So I mean, I can only focus on this last game. So I, I'll know is you know. You know, if their number's called, they'll be ready to play. Um, you know, it's a tough game at Connecticut, but they've already clinched, I believe, the first spot. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, how they match, uh, how they line up in terms of who, who, who they'll play and who they'll start. Uh, but for us, I mean, we're just going to try to end the season on a good note with a win. And so, you know, there's no pressure on, on either team. So it's just going to be a fun basketball game. And then, I mean, last one for me, I, I know you said you're kind of talking about the short term, um, but I, I know that in the future, Atlanta is going to want to get obviously back into the playoffs. But when mm -hmm. you think ahead to next season, I mean, what are going to be the biggest keys for Atlanta to you know, get back where you want to be? Uh, you know, we got to fill, fill some holes. You know, it's, you know, perimeter shooting. Um, and I think probably you know, adding, adding another big, um, you know, that can allow us to single up uh, more in the post and then just, uh, you know, um, just really getting stabilization on the perimeter. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.